extremely close to home and we haven't had to do our this is us corner because seasons ended but um one of the, the rooms hurt my soul man man one of the yeah. the rising stars the brilliant the, the 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 brain in the room uh the lovely jazz waters um is no longer with us um condolences to her friends her family um everyone that knew every her. everyone that knew everyone, everyone across that, her. man not the, the outpouring you know, and, and you gotta come across her. If you watched the show and you felt something from it, oh. you know, she was all over that. Well, so a lot of our discussion about this is us, and Dale brought it up. He was like, "Well, there's your answer right there." Mm-hmm. You know, we'd always want to know, Tap like, Yo, who was, who was in these writer rooms because of what this is us is able to depict and the the authenticity of it. And that's a word that gets thrown around in entertainment that is that's hard to stomach. Mm-hmm. Um, Authenticity, Be- yeah, because uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's uh, we need a little bit more authenticity, and it's usually a white person saying that to to a black director or a black actor. It's like, yo, make it make it more real. What the fuck does that mean, fam? They're trying to hit like- you, with, they they want they're trying to they're trying to beat around the bush on urban, man. Hey, we need that to be urban, bro. Um, but a part of me, you know, what what you people like, you know? <laughs> so, a, something like that. A part of me wants to assume that jazz was was the was the brains of that you know because i because for the life of me i couldn't figure out why why this show was connecting with so many of my partners that i knew like mm-hmm. i'd be it'd be it'd be crazy to people you end up talking about this is us with mm-hmm. you know a wide, wide range of folks a wide range and then to find out because i like to i'm being completely honest with y'all I didn't know that she had anything to do with it until until her death. Like that, oh. that yeah, that 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 broke my heart more than anything because we had been mulling over like trying to figure out who was in these rooms, who was in this writer room to make this specific show land the way that it does to where I can't miss a single week. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I feel like a hater now because I always knew, and so I just thought. Well, we we haven't talked about it since we've been doing it oh. since we, yeah. So it's not not your fault. Yeah, we this is this, yeah, uh, this, this is a while ago. Yeah, we've been, <laughs> yeah. we had just been trying to figure out what who's in these rooms. You know, oh, this is us talk started like two seasons ago. Yeah, <laughs> and um, and so but 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 jazz. I've known of jazz since the Combat Jack show. Like she's a she's an influential part of the Loudspeakers Network, and we talked about it last week. Or well, we've been talking about it a few weeks now in in, in saluting uh, Joe Rogan for one of the more massive uh, podcast deals. And as the podcast deals become be, become start to become a thing, um, it's extremely bittersweet for me as a fan because Combat Jack, who is who should be on the Mount Rushmore for podcasters, isn't here to reap the the benefits of it, but. And it's not even so much the bit like the the monetary like the monetary thing would obviously be good because of you know what he meant to hip hop culture as a whole, but his sort of vision him he Chris Morrow, um and 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 Charlemagne um and and, and jazz and jazz as their vision of starting a podcast network, like that's the type of ingenuity black people that we've we've always needed. Um, in order to, to to be in the conversation and to be able to push our lines economically, mm. and hey, a net podcast network, you know what I'm saying? And so, so fucking grateful um, for her contribution, for her stamp, um, and for her impact on culture and and the advancement of Black people, on the advancement of Black voices, um, on the on the advancement of a traditional um, black experience that isn't rooted in fucking CGI and hyper action and hyper drama. Now it's like, no, we can tell real authentic stories with our real authentic voices and have them land the same way and in the same spaces that um, white creatives have gotten uh, to, to, to be, to, to express themselves. So freedom. Yeah. The freedom, the freedom to, um, and you, we have so many dynamic stories to tell that still haven't been told, still haven't had the opportunity to be told. Uh, but we have to we have to keep fighting for that hmm. um, at all costs, and then supporting each other to be able to get it off the ground. Because, hmm. uh, um, like I said, I'm going back through shows, man, shows that we love, hmm. and going back through it now does not hit the same, man. 
Like it's not, it's rated well, uh, but it's, 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 it's overwhelmingly shown, like you could you could just see it in each in each one of these episodes, each one of these shows, the the amount of freedom to get your, um, you'll say your, not exactly whitewashed, but like your very vanilla, very bland idea off. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like your the the idea isn't all that isn't all that impressive Mm -mm. you know what i mean Mm -mm. it's just something and it's not a story that has much merit or or much or 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 much much that much to go off of on it like it's it's just it feels it feels that way while you're watching it so like it but then you you pop in like a a show that someone like us had something to do with yeah like before it was like all this cool stuff about um about uh the creator of uh, Blackish. Uh, oh yeah. Watching Blackish was one of the more impressive shows from episode to episode. It's probably one of the more pre- impressive twenty six minutes of 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 show that mm-hmm. you can that you can actually watch on how many things get how much information is actually presented and put on the table. Yeah. That's needed, man. Like that's it's, it's, there's a reason why that took off the way that it did, and it's a reason why it's still ongoing, and a reason why it ended up eventually getting to be as big as it is right now is because of how much impressive storytelling is in our daily lives. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of stuff that goes on in our daily lives that is interesting. Well, you landed. You, you you're hitting on exactly my my sentiments personally. G is is that where the Seinfelds, the Frasers, the Cheers, um, the Friends, the the freedom to operate, uh, the Boy Meets World, the freedom to operate and do basic shit, and and get That's all this trying to say basic, yeah, yeah, and, and all this critical acclaim. And it's not a knock to those shows. No, it's not, the, at all. not at all. It's a it's an ode to, you know, the the freedom that exists even you know in entertainment. It's like nah, in order to get this greenlit, somebody got to die in y'all movie. Somebody got to be fucking dancing. Somebody got to be ODing on drugs. It's got to be murder. It's got to be viruses. Like and it's very it's very similar to. Um, being in your home and watching the nine or ten o'clock uh, news, mm. like <laughs> how, like how is your how is your neighborhood being depicted? Yeah, is how they're making decisions on what green what show they should greenlit for your community. Yeah, like we know y'all kill each other, so let's make some. How about y'all make a show about killing each other? That shit should resonate with y'all. Yeah, like nah that's not that's not the only thing that'd be going on in our community actually it's a very rare occurrence you know what i mean and it usually has uh, a good amount of six degree of uh, separation and in, entailed in it like it's not always as random as you might think and um what we a couple it's so much so much great black shit is being made right now um and that's why jazz's death hits the way that it does yes yes, yes. um Rent back and read her tweets. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? And and the but the saddest part about the tweets, y'all, is that they're that her thoughts, her train of thought, her thread of thought is so close to a lot of the discussions I've been having the last six months with people. And, you know, the 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 fear, the isolation, the anxiety, and 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 to be frank, I don't know how to say this without uh, no one to personalize it and be like, I know what she's feeling because that doesn't feel fair. But when you that when you that tapped in frequency wise, for sure, creatively, for sure, you sit you 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 sitting you sitting a little close to closer to your demons than people will ever give you credit for. Like your your rapport with your demons is sick. I like to put it as de- putting your demons on a leash. Man. Uh, but it, it, on a leash is amazing shit Man. because you get amazing uh, content from having your demons on a leash and being yeah. able to tap into the energy that of being able to see them at all times. Yeah. But 
It's hard. If if it's they a, if they come off of a leash though, it's like a if dangerous. They, if they somehow it's a dangerous get dance. off that leash. Man, it's a dangerous dude. dance, yeah, and you play you play with that. And um, Bill Burr spoke to that on when him and Joe Rogan are sitting down. He was like, "Yo, I I can't I can't consume this shit the way that y'all do, so I got to just turn the TV off." I'm the same way because it I'm a, I'm I'm sensitive in 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 a, in in the best of ways because it informs the art in a real way, right? So. I gotta turn this shit off. I can't really do the time like the timeline thing, the intrusiveness of scrolling your timeline and and not having not getting the choice whether to watch somebody die feels so unfair. Yeah. Feels so unfair, bro. Like, like, oh, you just gonna make me watch this. And it happened again with the story. And that's why I was so when your mom sent that that clip, I was like, Auntie, I'm I'm li- I literally was watching that shit as she was sending it to me. And I was like, it happened again. It's like, hey, we want to warn you. This is very graphic. I've never seen them give that warning for anybody white being murdered on TV. Like, why? Like, why? Like, who? Who's approving this at your at your channel? Who? Who? Who deems this okay? And then, and then the other, the opposite argument is, hey, well, we need to bring awareness to it. The, the awareness of watching of watching that's not awareness. That's 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 trauma and torture. In 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 repurposing and repurposing evil for fear for the for in in and how that will suppress the the simplest of the day to day things for kids that see that shit. Victorville, a, 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 a man a, a man was lynched in 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 present day like like actual like hanging from a tree. Two, two people. Recently. Two people was that Victorville in like uh, like Pomona or something like that. Like, yeah, I forgot that one. Yeah. forgive me. Like and this is this this is not a knock to anybody. Uh, they were, they were considered suicides. I was about to say they try to classify them as suicides. I'm gonna let you niggas know right now if y'all don't burn this whole motherfucker down. If somebody if somebody takes me out and tries to classify it as something else, like I like I and that's and that's not even a concern of mine because I'm just going if my if you better hope you better hope. You better hope it's not my family. You better hope it's some niggas that kind of fuck with me because if it's my family, <laughs> oh good luck. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like. But to keep repurposing that, like what, what, who, 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 who's, who's gaining anything from this? And um, it, was like, it was so much, so much, so much to talk about. But uh, Dave, Ch- Dave Chappelle. Uh, be- before that. Okay. Um, okay. On the jazz thing, um, there was a lot. I did see it from Charlemagne too, because, you know, they were close, but. The uh, checking on like your strong fan hmm. fr- friend type thing type deal. Hmm. Um, also recognizing that uh, even through checkups, there really isn't much that, and and I hate to make it as hopeless as it possibly can be, but there isn't really much that can actually be done when some, when people are committed. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I I put that into that's a, whole a crazy n- that's I'll a crazy that word in, committed. I put that into a whole other category because I had to go through it and I'm like, bro, like the. There, it's a commitment that you're making, um, and when you're as tapped in, like you gotta understand some, how a person is if they're actually tapped in, like you said, the frequencies, hmm. and they're seeing they're seeing the world completely different than people that are choosing to distract themselves. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they're not here for the. They have literally spent they they've made it a they made it a, a continuous deal on their end to create awareness to everyone to somehow get some piece of their oh, their uh, their level of tapped in but that doesn't mean that they're able to save save themselves from save them from themselves hmm. you know what I mean and it's, it doesn't mean that somebody else when you're tapped in it doesn't mean that somebody else is going to be able to help you out through that process like you can try to give me all the psychi- psychiatrists, psychologists that you can possibly find that's well trained and has all these tricks and, and can talk up to all that stuff. And if I'm tapped in, there's nothing that you can tell me that makes anything, anything that I already know any better, hmm. any of those feelings any better. And I hate that it comes across as as it's helpless. No, it's 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 a it's a thing within self of hmm. just like knowing what you're what you're gonna be committed to doing. Hmm. 
if you're committed to continuing on and figuring it out from there, then that's what you're going to do. If it does get to that dark space where you where the commitment changes, then there is a very small piece of time that, that no window. one had yet. Yeah, the very small window that anybody that, has that anybody can save that, that no one, yeah. no, no one can save you in that small window. Yeah. There is not one individual in this world that can save you in that small window. You just have to just hopefully, hopefully it, it you get past that little window, but yeah. you, the, there's nothing that somebody can do in that small window. And I just hate that it comes across that way on a platform. Uh, but I, I am somebody that can actually speak on this. Yeah. So that's the only thing. So yeah. that's why. Yeah, man.